corner of gates in bed style it was only right that i approached and said hi because she looked like no other chick i ever saw she was on the way coming about the corner store i asked could i carry your bags and walk her home i could tell she was new in new york just from a tone because she wasn't that typical rude and ignorant tea sucking and eye rolling telling me leave her alone we dipped and we yapped we chat and we chat about this and that and where she lived at yeah this may sound kind of wu-tang clannish but this butter pecan honey was not Spanish. She lived like three blocks from my man in New York for six months, moved from Pakistan. Well, that explains the strange accent and the strange clothes and that cute little diamond in your nose. She said, I gotta wear this gear every Sunday, but you gotta see how I look come Monday. Word, mean that I could see you again, maybe give you a call, take you out on the weekend. She winked at me and kind of laughed, ripped a piece off the grocery bag and wrote a math. You can bet your last damn dollar that I'ma give you a call, Brooklyn Masala. <laughs> Mentally and sexual. <laughs> you I see the most wonderful woman I have ever met. Can we walk and talk, share our worlds? I'm feeling you a whole lot more than most girls. If you give me the number, I'll holler. I want to see you again, Brooklyn Masala. B to, the, B to the K to the K to the B to the K to the K to the K to the L to the Y to the N Masala on our first date, knocked on the door around 8. When she came down, she smelled good and looked great. She had the tight Frankie B's on, white on white ones, a pink bubble goose and pink bubble gum. I'm like, damn. Even pink Chanel shades. Her long black hair was done up in box braids. She didn't have it made.